What up, motherfuckers? Today I got for you guys a double header. My first game is gonna be me, Steven, versus my good dog, Terry. In this match, I'm playing him with my original water team. We're starting Snatch. We're looking for Toxic and Spikes when we can get it. Stab Ice Beam is nice. Then we're gonna go bring in Red Zeppelin, my sweeper, Rocky, Rain Sweeper, Physical, Elithia, Rain Sweeper, Special, Balboa. My boy Balboa's got quite the chin on him. 394 HP, 316 defense, 228 special defense. All that aided with Calm Mind makes Balboa a nasty motherfucker to deal with. And Charlotte. Charlotte's my gimmick sweeper, running belly dance. I'm sorry. Belly drum substitute Salak Berry. And that's the team we got for you guys today. Without further ado, let's get this match started. And we're off. So Terry's going to come out with Oliver. Set up Meganium. So many Meganiums in my meta. He puts up a light screen. That's fine. We're going to start with the Toxic to start wearing this beefy son of a bitch down. So the game starts out pretty standard for both players. He comes out with a Leech Seed. And I come out with Spike. So the, th the second and third moves of the game both had a percent chance to miss. It didn't happen. Toxic connected and Leech Seed connected. So the match is going just as planned so far for both players. He's got his Leech Seed out on Snatch. So what that's going to do is it's going to negate the damage from my Spikes for as long as the Leech Seed stays on Snatch. And now he's looking to, to clear out my physical wall. So he's going to take some spike damage here, but it's not going to be a big deal because it's going to be healed up by the leftovers and the leech seed. But I've got two layers of spikes down now. And I know this thing's chlorophyll, basil, chlorophyll, vile plume. I'm going to throw my third layer of spikes down. He's going to pop sunny day. So I, I, the writing is on the wall here. Vile Plume is going to put Snatch to bed. Snatch was seeded by Oliver. You know, that I could retreat it and throw in Gyarados who would tank the hit. But I just don't want to put that damage on Red Zeppelin right now. So I'm going to let Snatch bite the bullet here. She's done everything she needs to do. Four turns in the game, she set up a Toxic and three layers of Spikes. I'm good with that. Thank you, Snatch. You did well. And Basil gets a body. So as I mentioned earlier, Red Zeppelin's here. Intimidate's not going to matter. But what is going to matter is, even though this Chlorophyll, Basil, Vile Plume, is going to get its speed doubled, Red Zeppelin is not faster, which I thought he was. We come prepared, baby. We'll be faster after a Dragon Dance, was what I was trying to say. We come prepared. We tank the Sleep Powder. That's fine. Now we're fast. Now we're faster than the whole squad. And we're going to start the sweep. And see what he has to stop it. He's going to leave Basil in to take this hit. And that's fine. And this, now that Basil takes this one hitter quitter, the Snatch, Spikes, and Toxic come right back into play. So Oliver comes back out. This is a practically full health Oliver. One ticket Toxic on it. It's going to take 25% spike damage. A 16th from the Toxic. It'll heal back whatever from leftovers. The question is... Can Red Zeppelin get the one shot? This is a stab, super effective, hidden power flying. That's got one Dragon Dance stack. And with the DD boost... The Snatch assisted Spikes and the Toxic, we put Oliver down one shot. Thank you, Snatch. And now the Snatch assisted one hitter quitters are coming in. Although, Charlie's going to dodge this. Charlie's going to dodge the Spikes. We're going to hit him as hard as we possibly can. I thought about Dragon Dancing here, but I was like, no, let's just two shot this thing if I can't one shot it. We almost get the one shot. That's fine. This is a big aerial ace. Char Charlie coming through in the clutch here with a critical hit. The hacks count goes zero to one. 
That's fine. But it wasn't fine when I saw the slack berry. Now Charlie's going to get a second aerial ace off and he's going to look to end Red Zeppelin's sweep. But Charlie fucking blew it. He couldn't get the job done. And Red Zeppelin puts him away. Now the question is, Terry's got three, three pokes left to put 15 damage on Red Zeppelin. Can he do it? We already know Rocco, he's got a body. He won a game last time we saw him. Can he do it this time? We're going to see a snatch assisted one hitter quitters. Rocco's not going to be able to take this Dragon Dance boosted Earthquake. Rocco's out. Let's see what comes in next. T-Dog sends in Blair. Now Blair's probably fast. It's a Rapidash, but I got a Dragon Dance boost. I got Snatch Assisted Spikes, and we're slinging super effective Earthquakes. And if my uh, calculations are correct, that's going to be another body for Red Zeppelin. All right, last hope. Now he's just fighting for pride. Can he get 15 damage off on Red Zeppelin? Here comes Serafina, another fire type. About to check his chin. Snatch assisted. Spikes damage. He's going to get a little back from leftovers. Dragon Dance boosted Earthquake super effective. Is it going to be enough? You guys know Red Zeppelin by now. Of course it's going to be enough. And all I got to say to that is good game, motherfucker. And to you, Charlie, better luck next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Coming at you with the next video soon.